This week's Ion MPI is from CUI Devices. That's right. They've got a nice new logo. Every single that. week, we explore all the new products. This is brought to you by DigiGeek and Adafruit. We call this MPI, New Product Introduction. What is this week's MPI? Okay. This week's MPI is from CUI Devices. It's their series of DIN rail terminal blocks that are stackable, and they come in a variety of sizes. And you might be like, DIN blocks? You mean like DIN Jar, <laughs> the hero of the <laughs> Mandalorian? who also shoots uh, DIN rails out of his blaster. Uh, yeah. Man, yeah. Disney does everything now. <laughs> I know. Uh, look, if I have five minutes, I'd like to do a silly little Photoshop. Yeah. Um, but so you've got DIN rails, which um, are look like that, minus the blaster part. Um, and these are a standardized um, metal railing that is used in servers, electrical work, robotics, automatic automation and other electronics. Um, a lot of the electrical distribution uh, boxes also use these. And um, by having a standard mounting rail, this is the, the Wikipedia article, um, by having a standardized mounting rail, basically you avoid the problem of what I used to do, which was just drill some holes in the wall and maybe use some like lag bolts or maybe have a two by four and like things wouldn't be rated for holding stuff and it would get loose. Um, so you attach the DIN rail very solidly to your enclosure or to your wall, and then you can easily uh, slide items on and off the railing. It's like design, it's designed very nicely, and it's a standardized size, and everyone agrees to use this size, and so you can kind of like mix and match from different suppliers. So, um, you know, for example, this is the, they have a bunch of different ones, but the one we're going to talk about the most is the TBDR-13-25-BK, um and, and family and um this is a bi-level so two-layer terminal block and you can see um you actually can like see into it it's it's uh to keep it slim um maybe we'll go to the overhead real fast and i can i can show this um i'll show it. so this is actually oh, maybe i'll just go to the, to the demo now so this is a din rail let me focus so it's nice and clear uh, so this is a din rail so i just got like a nice aluminum one but they're made also out of steel and um you can see that there's got like it's got the c shape that um things can slide on in and out of so let me slide this up so you know you there are ones sometimes that you can like bolt onto and make it stronger mechanically but for the most part you could just slide things on and off so you can position them and they like pretty much stay in place and this is two terminal blocks so i slid them um side by side and then you can slide more just by uh hold on this is the the connector part here and you hook this on the only problem is once you do this it's kind of hard to you can take it off but you have to slide it off so it snaps in and then um you push it onto the end and now you've got three terminal blocks so three distribution blocks and these come in different sizes so this is like the smaller version sorry this is the smaller version and this version um in comparison with this one so let me slide this back out so i can show you the difference and we'll talk about them this one is a distribution so you see these four are connected these two are connected together and these two are one piece of metal and then there's this big hunk of uh tinned copper that connects between the two so these are connected together this one is a grounding style so you see that these two pieces connect together so there's like two uh you know push to um insert wires but then the metal comes down and it scrapes up against the railing so this is a grounding connection so if you want to have an earth ground um, this is one way to do it. Then you just earth ground the railing. So it's kind of a little bit of a hack. Use the railing not just as mechanical, but as an electrical um, earth grounding. Okay, so let's go back to yeah. So that's din rails. Um, so there's a lot of different families. If you want to buy din rail, um, FYI, DigiKey stocks like bazillions of different that's sizes. Yeah, they have a lot. This is they're all pre-cut. If you need to, you don't have to cut it yourself. You don't want to get um, a hacksaw. Um, there's channel, it's they're made, you know, by every maker, copper, PVC, stainless steel, steel, aluminum, whatever you want, galvanized, non-galvanized. Um, there's different types, there's a couple different types with slots, without um lots of like again, this is very standardized. So they have like a thousand different products. And there's also lots of accessories. Um, so we're talking about terminal blocks here, and you can see that they have you know thousands of terminal blocks and channel, but there's also like accessories and holders um oh and then uh, I can... that's cool so one in the chat said you can mount your din rail to your ikea pegboard with automotive push rivets yeah 
Yeah. I'm surprised we don't see more just like, I'm going to decorate my home with it. Oh, actually, I forgot I was going to open this package. So can you go to the overhead again? I'm sorry. I was... Oh, are we doing an unboxing? Well, I was going to show off. Like... You know, everyone on YouTube was doing unboxings for a while. Maybe we should get into that. So this is, um, I, you know, we have them in the store. So this is like a DIN rail mount for an Arduino Uno. You would plug in your Metro or your Arduino, and then, you know, it would. It has that same. Done did it. Yeah. I, I don't take it out of the packaging because it's. Uh, I'm not going to actually use it. Oh. But it has that same plastic that plastic, you know, hook piece that uh, slides onto the railing. So this would slide in and then you could have terminal box. Binduino. Binduino. Um, so DIN rail is very, very popular. I really like it. Uh, I have used it in some projects um, for like robotics where I had to mount um, like terminal blocks and driver boards and then, you know, onto a body of something. And it's, you know, you don't want to uh, have everything kind of strewn around. Um, so, uh, so, uh, you, yeah, so the accessories. So this yeah. is the uh, CUI devices uh, product pages. They also have these little plastic pieces. Um, so if you get the right ones that match, like because there's different sizes, and we'll show you some of the different sizes. There's plastic pieces that match up and will like protect that last piece because you saw like one side is open and the other side is closed. So on the end, you're going to want something to kind of cap it. So they have caps that will fit. Um, I did get a cap, but unfortunately, um, I wasn't paying attention. Didn't realize that they were all different sizes and I got the wrong size. But uh, you'll not be me. You'll get the right size. Um, so this is one, uh, you know, this is, again, the, the double layer. So two heights, uh, a grounding version, because you can see it has that metal piece that bends down and connects to the railing. And this one is uh, kind of large. It's 68 by 46 millimeters, um, five millimeters thick. And then they have a kind of short, short, like a short squat version. It's like one layer, um, also a grounding type. Um, and this one is uh, 68, 69 millimeters by 35. Some of these go down to 14 gauge, some do 12 gauge, all start at 26. So they're, you know, if you're using kind of a standard 22 gauge, uh, 24 gauge wire should be good. And they're all uh, rated. Um, so the one I got here, I'll even read on the side. It's CE and UL. 500 volts, 22 amps. So these are great for power distribution, but they'll also be fine for uh, data. And this is like the shortest one. This is the smallest uh, size I showed you. It's only got two terminals, um, but also a grounding uh, connection type. And this one is a petite 48 by 30 millimeter. So, you know, you can mix and match stack, you know, any combo. And then CUI also has a awesome, um, guide with really beautiful images they have a wonderful whoever does their web graphics and web design is top notch um, a terminal guide at block to terminal block selection they have a huge family of terminal blocks i think this is the first time they've gone into din rail compatible blocks um, but these are extremely cute uh slim they snap on very nicely and they look very nicely made they look very solid and reliable and uh, a wide range of sizes and wire gauges uh, available on DigiKey and, and in stock. 647. That's and a lot. Have, there's 18 different terminal blocks, different colors and sizes and configs. Um, and then they also have uh, six or eight of the caps. So still not used to everything starting to be in stock know, again. In stock. This is great. All right. Good stuff. Another good INMPI. Thank you, Lady Of course. I, 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 I,